already know what's got a chokehold on me, okay? You already know what has a chokehold on me. Let's make sure all these cameras are right. Uh, okay, I think everybody is here. I think. If not, listen. Y'all will be all right. So one thing I got to say is that you will be okay. Hi, everybody. Praise the Lord. Have you got good religion? Certainly, Lord. Certainly. Certainly, Lord. Y'all know what I'm going to make, okay? I've been thinking about it. And from the looks of y'all stuff online, um, y'all been thinking about it too, okay? From the looks of what y'all been doing, um, how y'all been tagging me and stuff, apparently y'all have been thinking about it as well. So... Well, let me grab some ice. Hold the line while I do that. Tengo mielo. That means I have my ice in Spanish for those of you who are not cultured. Okay. So here's, it's like a Cadillac margarita, but it's like how I like. Okay. You could put um, anything you want, like brown, because we're going to mix the brown and we're going to mix the light. So we are doing very, inter um, what is that? Interracial. We're doing very interracial. Okay, so I have a little Zacapa rum. You can put whatever you want. You can do Grand Marnier if you want to. You could do um, cognac. Could work as well. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want. Okay, so over my ice, I have a little bit of Zacapa rum. Like a shot, half a shot, right? Of the good stuff. All right. You know what also works too is that barbon cork would be delicious in this as well. All right, and then, now y'all done took it a step further. See, this is why I like our little community because like I tell you one thing and y'all go and y'all get to experimenting. Now, I think this is only at Target. They have that um, limeade with the ginger situation happening. I saw somebody make that and I shared it on my Facebook page and it looked astounding, it looked amazing. But Publix didn't have ginger. Oh, ginger limeade. Just what it was, ginger limeade. Publix didn't have it, so whatever. This really finna be your new drink, okay? These are Luxardo cherries, like Luxardo, Tom Collins, the expensive ones. We're going for the juice here, okay? So you want, well, the juice and some of the cherries, but definitely you want to put some of the juice over your um, ice like that, okay? As you can see, I'm sort of running out. I've been cocktailing a lot, including earlier at the Delta Lounge, okay? Shout out to Dallas. We had a blast this past weekend in Dallas. Okay, and then Limeade. This is the substitution. You like, you know, you could do like sweet and sour or whatever, but this is, the Limeade works beautifully. Okay, so we fill that up with the Limeade like this, right? And then we'll do just, well, I have, this is Valencia Orange, um, Tequila, okay? Now you could use whatever tequila you want. You could use Valencia orange tequila. You could use coconut tequila. You could, your tequila don't have to even be special. It could be regular tequila. You see what I'm saying? Whatever you want to put in your stuff is fine because guess whose stuff it is? Yours, nobody else's. So in this case, I got some other stuff over there, but I'm gonna use this orange one, okay? Just, you know, an old piece of shot. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Now we need to give it a slight stir and a taste. Okay. We'll give it a slight stir. And a taste. 
bow your head and say grace. It's grace. Mm. Sound is going in and out. Is this on Facebook? What is this on? Mm. Okay. So what I'll do is I will switch. You guys bear with me one moment. Okay. And I will go live from this device, not uh, that device. Okay. Because honey, the people have written on here, your sound is going in and out no less than 4 million times. Okay. Four million times they've written it on Facebook. I'll be right back. <laughs> Jesus Christ, y'all. Like, give me a second. Jesus, okay. Y'all act like I control this. Okay, I don't control this. I don't know why the sound going in and out. I'm not the engineer. I don't know. I can't even begin to tell you, but the people, are, they will go crazy. All right, let's cook. Done. Go live. Now, I'm on my personal cell phone. And so this should be a lot, a lot better. Because I don't know why the sound going out. But baby, they, they'll let you know on Facebook 97,000 times. The sound is in. You be like, oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, now let's see if this is any better before I start cooking. Can I send you my wing sauce? No. Mm. They coming back on. Let's make sure they're good. This is so delicious. Yeah, I know they want to hear me, smart ass. All right, you keep it up. It's going to be the last live stream of mine you see in life, okay? Is that better? Because y'all really was going crazy. Is that better, Instagram? Because y'all were like, I mean, not Instagram, Facebook, because y'all was going, not you, but the other Facebook. Y'all was going crazy. Okay, crazy. Now, if this is your first, second, or third time joining us, at this moment we ask that you would please stand. We do realize that it is by God's divine providence that you are here with us on this evening. This is no accident. And we are very happy to have you. Now, at this time, we do have impact agents who are coming from the rear of the sanctuary to hand you an information card. We do ask that when you go around for offering, you fill out that information card and put it in the offering basket so that we may stay in contact with you. Uh, after service, we do ask that you go to the West Vestibule and you can sign up and get our free gift for you. Do not go to the East Vestibule, okay? For the East Vestibule, all the mothers with gray hair that dyed their hair and turned to blue, we are doing volunteer signups so that you can get your highlighted blue hair turn black. So if you want to do that, you can go to the East Vestibule after service, okay? But for all of our uh, visitors who are joining us today, you want to go to the West Vestibule and you can get a free gift. At this time, allow us to welcome you. <laughs> blocking you blesses me. Oh, 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 blocking you blesses me. If you try, we gonna let you fly. Cause blocking you blesses me. Mm -hmm. Blocking you blesses me. Oh, 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 blocking you blesses me. If you try, we gonna let you fly. Cause blocking you blesses me. You may be seated in his presence. Let's cook. All right. So, I want to show you what I have today. All right. I have these beautiful mustard greens. 
okay? And I know we only do mustard greens around here typically one way. Why am I feeling this cocktail already? I don't know. Normally you cook your mustards down with your turnip greens. But today, I'm gonna do something a little different and maybe unorthodox. But you know me. Gives two shit about, I shouldn't be cussing, sorry. I don't care, okay? So in my beautiful Darius Cook's saucier, All right, I'm gonna add some water, okay? I wanna get this on the stove. All right, and I'm gonna add me a little pinch of salt to that water. Blocking you blesses me, hey. Blocking you blesses me, oh, blocking you blesses me. If you try, we gon' let you fly, cause blocking you blesses me. All right, I wanna get my ice bath ready, okay? So an ice bath is what we are gonna put these mustard greens after we blanch them just for a few minutes, okay? So let me get a bowl out. Let me get a bigger bowl than this, hold on. Perfect, all right, let me get a bowl out. And in this bowl, we are going to put some ice. First of all, I have turned into somebody's uncle because when I tell you, I have been day drinking like nobody's business. First of all, I had a flower district margarita in Dallas at the Delta Lounge. Then went back for another margarita. Then on the plane had two, no, I only had one, Diet Coke and Jack on the plane. Okay, all day. And I did not know that day drinking was such a vibe. Why y'all didn't tell me that, okay? Had I known that day drinking was uh, such a vibe, I would have been doing day drinking. I didn't know it was this much fun. Why y'all didn't tell me? I blame, I blame you. Okay. We'll put some ice in y'all. Like that, okay? Then to the ice, we need to add some water, okay? So you just wanna have this set up, ready to go. That way you have your roadmap, that way you're not really worried about what am I doing next? You kind of have, you know, your roadmap ready to go, okay? Now, along with uh, this, I do want to get some water on for some pasta, okay? I may have gastric bypass, but I like to eat me a little two, three strands of pasta when I can, all right? And tonight... I can. So put this on the side. And let me get my Darius Cook's Dutch oven ready to roll. Okay, so this is, so I'm using my crimson and gold saucier. I'm now going to use my Darius Cook's enameled cast iron crimson and gold Dutch oven. Okay, and we'll put the pasta in here. Same thing, water and some salt. Cause you gotta cook the pasta and you gotta taste like something. So if you don't salt the pasta,
what's gonna happen is that your pasta not gonna taste good. It's gonna taste very vanilla, very bland, very, that's not how we eat our food, okay? We believe in, I believe in the power of love. Okay, so we're gonna put this on the front eye over here. And get that going. Now, for pasta, I'm gonna let you know one thing. I'm using thin spaghetti, AKA angel hair. And I'm using the Publix brand. Why? It was 89. <laughs> it was 89. <laughs> I don't care how much money I got. It was 89 cents per box, okay? And let me tell you one thing. Publix brand pasta tastes just like that Barilla pasta. Barilla wanna charge you $2 for this same box. Publix shall be my portion for 89 cents. Thank you, I bought two of them, just in case, all right? So, it really ain't the brand, it's what you do with it. Huh? All right, so, we need to get started. Oh, Jesus Christ. We need to get started on this uh, sauce that we're gonna do for the pasta, all right? So, I've got, if you're wondering what's going on, I've got a little pot of water on boil, a little saucier on boil with salt, and a big pot for pasta with salt, okay? I wanna walk you through what we'll be doing for our um, for our our sauce, okay? Now, I happen to be very black, and I like doing stuff that is black, and black people like pecans for some reason. I personally am not a big fan of pecans unless I'm doing them like I'm about to do now, all right? So here's what I wanna do. I wanna get an everyday skillet, Once I find one, hold on. All right, everyday skillet. I got a cold pan. I'm gonna put just a few pecans in the cold pan like this, okay? What I wanna do is I wanna get these toasted, right? Which means I wanna bring this pan up to temperature and then cut the pan off. I do not want to burn these i do not want because these are turned bitter so i want to be very careful i don't want to be on the phone you know rst lne trying to figure out what the thing is what the you know on will of fortune with pat and them and vanna you know i don't want to do that i want to be very careful i don't want to watch the stories i don't want to be on the phone i don't want to be browsing facebook all right because if you burn these nuts then it changes the whole dimension of the sauce so and the moment you smell them it's too late, okay? So, why don't we put these on a medium heat, medium to medium low, all right? Now, my first pot that is going to contain my mustard greens is ready for me, right? It's a nice soft boil, which is good. Okay, and so we are going to now add in a handful or so of mustard greens to get those blanched. Now, you can pick your mustard greens from scratch if you want to, all right? I am not doing that. The lovely people at the Gorm, what is this? The Palmetto Gardens, Church of God in Christ, have triple washed these greens. If you want to wash them again, honey, you could baptize these. Okay, obedience to the great head of the church. All right, we snatched up another green out the hand of the enemy. Mm-hmm. And it is by the profession of this green's faith that we now baptize it, okay? So you can do whatever you want to do. You want to wash it again, wash it again. Me, on the other hand, I'm not doing it. I'm gonna put me a handful or two of 
fresh must now they gotta be fresh. I mean they could be frozen too. If you want to use frozen, you could use frozen. Hold on. Ooh, there we go. Okay, that's a hand. Hold on, I don't know. I'm making a mess. Hold on, let me get some tongs. I'm over I done made a mess. Oh, 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 oh. These are done. Look at this. Look at my nuts. Remember, if you smell them, it's too late. All right? You do not. No, you don't want to burn these. You just want to toast them. And what toasting does for the nuts is it brings out the oils, right? And it really sort of starts to, like, all the flavor inside starts to um, sing Diana Ross. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Gotta let it show. Okay. Now, speaking of coming out, that's all it takes for these mustard greens. A little blanch to set the color, set the flavor. Okay. Hold on, that's hot. Let me get a towel. All right. And then we can bring out the mustard greens. Now you can do this with mustards, collards, or turnips. I love it with all, okay? And part of me really wanna keep cooking these with some smoked turkey and stuff, but we are not doing that today. We are finna be fancy today, okay? All right, so into my cold ice water, I'm gonna add my blanched greens, okay? This could be kale if you wanted it to be kale, but I just love the pungency and the, uh, the sort of flavor punch that these uh, mustard greens, they're gonna give this mustard green pesto. Stay tuned, okay? Yes, this mustard green pesto. What you thought? What did you think? We thought we were cooking, right? That's what we're doing. Okay, so this can go away, okay? And I'm gonna let my mustard greens I put them in uh, this ice bath, this ice water to shock them so that they stop cooking. Cause I, that's it. Like my color is set. Look how beautifully green these are, right? You see that? Like my color is set and these are absolutely gorgeous, right? So good. Cooking is stopped. We're good to go on that. We don't have to worry about going a step further, okay? Let us take our beautiful pecans that we've now toasted. So if you think about what we're doing, we're just taking a moment to develop beautiful layers of flavor, right? So we've toasted the pecans, it's gonna bring out more of the pecan flavor. We've blanched the greens, set the color, it's gonna be beautiful. So sometimes in cooking, you kinda wanna take your time and do it right, you know what I mean? Which means like not rushing the process, having a good time, right? Making sure everything tastes amazing and you need good cookware to do this. So if you happen to need any of the cookware I'm using tonight, you know where you can get it from? So somebody put it in the comments, tell them. Somebody put it in the comments. Y'all let them know where they can get this amazing cookware, okay? You know where you can get it from? ShopDariusCooks.com, okay? All right, here is a gorgeous, beautiful, boneless ribeye steak. Do not play with me. I did not come to play with you today, okay? Now, if you are, if you are a steak washer and all that, honey, Please, by all means, wash away, okay? I'm not doing any of that. Now, if I had time, I would have salted this yesterday and left it in the fridge uncovered. That way, I start to get the effects of what dry aging does to beef. Um, if I had time, I would do this yesterday, right? And then you just want to put it in the refrigerator and leave it um, uncovered. Okay, that way the air can get to it and it can dry it out real good. Now you wanna salt it very, very good, all right, because this is beef and you know like I know, she don't come in no season no her. 
okay? Like chicken, she do not be seasoned. And so you wanna make sure you season it real good. If you do season this yesterday and you wanna cook it today, just pull out the fridge, bring it to room temperature before you cook it. That way you really get your even cooking. Stick with me, I'ma bless you, all right? All right, the last thing I wanna do, where is it, it's over here, is I wanna make a quick paste, okay? Can you just go with me for a moment, right? Just take a second and just follow me on this journey because where we're going to end up is going to be amazing, okay? Now, in this bowl, why don't we take some uh, store-bought jerk paste, okay? Your favorite brand. You can tell by the way this bottle looks what brand this is. However, I won't be telling you what brand this is because they have not given me a check. Now, if you know the people over here at this brand, Church of God in Christ, tell them to call me so we can discuss a few things, okay? Now, that was the um, hot and spicy. And I'm just going to temper the flavor a little bit because the hot and spicy could be very hot and spicy, which is what you want, I guess, right? So what I like to do personally is throw in a little bit of brown sugar to sort of offset some of that heat, right? So I have hot and spicy jerk paste and a heaping handful or so of brown sugar. Use a little more than you think you need because the hot and spicy, bitch, she's hot and she's spicy, okay? All right, now let's have a little bit of fun. Can we do that? We're going to, all right? I've got some limes. I probably only need one. It just depends on how juicy your limes are. Cause you know, sometimes you buy limes, they don't be worth nothing. You be looking around like, why are you here? You should have been a lemon. You could have been a grapefruit or a pomelo. Why you gotta be a lime? Cause you ain't really worth nothing, okay? So in this case, We'll roll out and we'll see how far we get. Before I roll these, my water is boiling. So let's put the pasta in. Who washes? Y'all wash your steak? Is that what y'all doing? Like y'all legit. Y'all legit washing steak? Okay, well honey, let me tell you something. Wash on, okay? Whatever your heart desires, wash on. All right, I'm gonna put in a little bit of pasta. Obviously, I don't need much more than that, right? <clears throat> and then let me just swish it around to make sure it doesn't uh, burn. Okay, we're good. All right, jerk paste and brown sugar, all right? Why don't we take a lime and why don't we give it a little zest? So I got a little zester and I want the essence of lime really all through here. I just feel like lime juice and jerk and brown sugar is a combination that I feel like is just amazing. Like I could rub this over a steak and then smoke the steak like on the grill. It would be so amazing. Or over some shrimp or scallops or even chicken thighs. You know what I mean? And I bet these would be great with like some rice and sour cream and mango, pico de gallo, all that. So, you know, I kind of give you a starting point and then I let you go the rest of the way. Speaking of the rest of the way, I need to pour another cocktail, okay? Because I am running low. 
The best way I like to do limes is I like to fork them. So limes, lemons, oranges. So I'll put a fork in the middle. I'll turn the fork one way and then turn the lime the other way while squeezing. And I feel like that gets me the maximum juice out of a lime, okay? That's just my little situation. But whatever you do, see, look how much juice I'm getting out of here. If I was just trying to squeeze this normally, I wouldn't get as much juice. But I like to, like, give me all I can, all I can. Okay, let's give that a bit of a stir. And then I've got some room temperature butter. Uh, could you use oil for this? Yes, absolutely you could. But with where we are headed, I would think you would want to use butter. So a couple of tablespoons of room temp butter, and then you can try to like smush it around and get it in there good. If your butter has to be melted to do this, that's fine. You can melt it as well, but I just feel like the butter, the lime, the jerk is a whole combination. If you're smoking this outside, oh God, it's like on and popping, all right? Let me just check my pasta and then I need to re-up my cocktail. So if you miss the cocktail, don't worry, it's on the way, okay? All right, pasta's not quite there. I want it al dente, because we'll have a lot of carryover cooking from this. Okay, so for our cocktail, we're gonna start by adding more ice than this. So let me get some more ice, y'all, hold on. Somebody was like, if you had bariatric, I know somebody in the comments talking about some. If you had bariatric surgery, um, are you able to um, drink alcohol? Yes. How? How are you able? I'm going to show you right now. A shot of Zacapa rum in the base. <laughs> All right. I have some Luxardo cherries but I'm more interested in the juice of the cherries than anything else. If some of the cherries fall in, that's great. Because these cherries are amazing. They're super expensive, but they're really good. Okay. Then I top this with a little bit of limeade. Somebody on my Facebook did it with ginger limeade and it was outstanding. Well, the look of it was out. I didn't taste it, but the look was outstanding. But they get that from Target. Somebody feels a farms, a California farms or something. I don't know the brand. And then this is tequila. Oh, you know, a shot. This is very much an interracial cocktail because we're mixing light and dark because we want to be judged by, not by the color of our skin, but by the content of our character. Amen. Mm. Ugh. All right, let's drain this pasta. It's ready. All right, and then let's work on the sauce. All right, so my pasta is now drained. All right, I'm using for this, this was thin spaghetti, right? I don't need that much, ain't nobody but me. And you know how my stomach is set up. If you don't know, I had, uh, I had a sleeve 
Um, a vertical sleeve gastrectomy was in 2018. And then I started losing my restriction because that's what a sleeve does. And then um, I had this really bad acid reflux. I had to lay down. I was like, what is this? It was like horrible, like 30, 45 minutes. Just, ugh. I would swallow two Benadryl and be laid out. So I went back and had a um, revision done for a gastric bypass. I feel amazing. Not because of the cocktail, but just, you know, in general, I feel great. All right, let me get a blender because we're going to need that to make the sauce. Hold on, y'all. Um, I got one. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Now, you need a blender for this. It's not going to work without a blender. So I'll get you a blender. All right. Regular blender is fine. You could even make you some frozen margaritas first. And then make your stuff next, okay? All right. I am going to pull out my blanched. Okay, here we go. Let's go. All right, I'm going to pull out my blanched um, mustard greens and just squeeze out the water. Okay, see how bright and beautiful and green these are? Amazing, okay? I'm gonna get in here and just grab what I can. In fact, what I think I wanna do is let me put my pasta in this bowl, right? And then what I will do is my uh, mustard greens, I keep saying turn them, I'm just gonna drain them out. See, like that. That way, all the little bits that are in here, I can get those out. And stems and all, because the stems have flavor. I don't know why y'all cut the stems off when you make greens. The stems got all the nutrients. Not only that, but the stems, you pay for them. I don't mind stems in my stuff. As long as the stems cook long like everything else, they're going to be just fine. Okay? Now, let's make this sauce. So, we have... Uh, we're making a mustard green pesto. I know. <laughs> mustard green, a few pieces of toasted pecan right in there. Yes? Okay. Let's season um, pesto. That's a him. Let's season him up with a little piece of salt. All right, he also needs a little piece of black pepper. Okay. Then he needs Parmesan cheese, okay? So I picked up some Publix brand Parmigiano Reggiano. Why? because it was on sale. What was it? On sale. What we not doing? Breaking the bank in 2023. Especially over no pesto. No, we not doing that. No, please, who do you think we is? Let me see. You just need you a little, couple of little knobs of, pest, of uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay, and then for the rest of it, you can make you a charcuterie board and you'll be good to go, okay? All right, so we have, what's in here? Mustard green, Parmesan cheese, toasted pecan, salt, pepper, we need some garlic. Really in here to make it taste real good. Let me find some. I bought some. And what kind of garlic I bought? The kind that's already peeled. Do me a favor, y'all get on my nerve with that pre that pre uh minced garlic in the water and all that. 
Stop doing that. Just buy the garlic that's already peeled. Okay? Now, I do need just a pinch. Now, this ain't, this is not Italian. It is, but it's like the south side of Italy. I need a pinch of brown sugar. Why? Those mustard greens can be bitter. So a little pinch of brown sugar makes the world go round, okay? Baby, this cheese is delicious. Hold on one second. This cheese is outstanding. I don't know who Reggiano is, but he tastes delicious, okay? Reggiano tastes amazing. Believe it or not, all I had today to eat two sausages and two cookies. That's it. Oh, and I had a, a little square of Rice Krispie Treat. That's it. Okay? So I'm about to this up. Okay? Okay. Now we need olive oil to go in here. Don't worry, I got some. I got plenty of olive oil. Okay. Now listen. Between you, me, and the gate post. If you want to make this and you don't have no olive oil, vegetable oil can work as well. Don't let these people think, tell you that all you got to have is olive oil, okay? Because let me tell you, growing up, grandma didn't use no olive oil like that. She used Crisco and vegetable oil and bacon grease. Huh? Use what you have. I happen to have Iberia Church of God in Christ Premium 100% Extra Virgin Olive Oil First Cold Press. But if you don't have this, don't tell nobody. If you don't have this, you can use vegetable oil or corn oil or whatever you got. Okay. Let me cut this heat down. I got it warm. Hold on, y'all. Let's put the oil in here. Yes, church of God in Christ. Put your little oil in here, like that. And we're gonna let it go, then we're gonna stream the oil in, okay? On. You take this off, like this. And then you put a little bit at a time, hello? My, this is my Darius Cooks. I'm using all the toys today. This is my Darius Cooks beautiful crimson and gold Dutch oven. If you do not have one of these, you need this in your life. She is extremely versatile. 
She is extremely sexy and she's extremely amazing. All right, I'll put this to the side for one second because I got to work on the next part of what we're about to eat. We're almost done, by the way. She comes in pearl, she comes in crimson, and she comes in emerald. You choose what color you want. Soon, she'll be in tangerine. Thank you. Somebody said, put the drink down. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm putting a little water in her. I don't know if this is she or not. She might be transgender. I'm not really sure, okay? But I'm putting a little water in her. Okay, now I wanna put a little bit of salt in her. And then I wanna put a little bit of, perfect, sugar. All right, a little bit of salt and a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Don't worry, you'll see what it's for in a second, all right? I'm gonna put this on, and I'm gonna get that boiling, okay? Why am I getting that boiling? I have four ears of corn. I tell you what, if you stay with me, I'ma bless you. I'm like a Pentecostal preacher, okay? Stick with me and I'ma bless you. All right, I'm gonna rinse this corn off and I'm gonna throw this corn right into that Dutch, I mean that braising pan with the uh, salt and the sugar so that this can start to soak up some of that beautiful seasoned water that we have, okay? Because salt and sugar on corn is a vibe. If you don't believe me, why you be eating kettle corn? All right? I don't, you know what I feel like? I feel like nowadays... You can really get fresh. <laughs> I know y'all like, there he is. Oh, hold on one second. Do what? Put someone in. Okay, I'll give you, the, give you the thing. Hold on. Go add as moderator. Confirm. There you go. Auntie Sherry, get him! If you're on Instagram and you cutting up, your ass finna get gone. Because Auntie Sherry do not give a fuck who the hell she blocked, Okay. If you are lucky enough to be in a city where you can still get fresh corn, God bless you. I'm in Atlanta right now, and they still have fresh corn available literally all year round, okay? So I'm going to use my fresh corn. And I know y'all like, where is this going? It'll make sense in one second. Now... While my corn is working out, my sauce is ready. My pasta is cooked, but my steak needs some attention. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to move this over once I figure out, here it is where my towels are. I'm gonna move this over, okay? And I'm gonna take my Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet, which you can get. Now, let me tell you something. This is probably the most versatile piece of kitchen equipment. Let this get hot, hold on one second. They gotta get hot. This how it comes. It comes in a box that looks like this, okay? Thousands of you have these boxes, okay? You got them for Christmas. You got them on a 70% off sale. You bought them, okay? 
I know you bought them because we sold about 4,000 skillets last month alone, okay? If you do not have this skillet, forget everything else. Forget the braising pan, forget the Dutch oven, forget the saucier, forget the cast iron skillet, forget the glasses, the knives, the cutting board, the cookbooks, forget everything. I need everyone who has this skillet in the comments to say one thing, amen. Okay, if you own a Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet, I need you to say amen in the comments so that everyone who does not own one understands just how amazing this Everyday Skillet is, okay? First of all, long handle that does not get hot, so you can touch it and the whole bit. It is branded DariusCooks.tv. It has the honeycomb technology. And this is, and I am going on record to say this, this is the best skillet you will ever, ever own in your entire life. Okay, hands down, made of stainless steel, it can take some scrubbing. This is the best skillet you will ever own. It will make everything you cook amazing. And you see all the amens in the comment section. Okay? All right. So this skillet gets hot real fast. So you want to be very careful. All right? So I cut my heat down slightly. All right, I've got a touch of oil. I'll put my oil in, all right, just a, a table or a teaspoon or so. And then I'm gonna cook this steak that we put the salt on, right? I can start to see some of that liquid coming out of this steak. So this would have been great to do this yesterday, but I thought about it today, all right? So we'll put the steak in, just salt, that's it. And we'll let it go. All right. Now we should probably work on all the pieces for the sauce for this steak. So I've got a couple of cloves of garlic. By couple, I do mean three. All right. So I'm going to smash one. I'm going to smash two. I'm going to smash three. All right. I want to give this a cute little chop. Oh, and can we say amen for the everyday knife? The Darius Cook's Everyday Chef's Knife. Can we say amen for it? And when I tell you this is the best knife that you will ever own, this knife will cut a bitch like nobody's business, okay? All right, so I got three cloves of fresh garlic sitting on the side, waiting on me, okay? I've also got a little bit of onion, okay? So this could be shallot if you've got it. I don't, so I'm using red onion. <laughs> I'm using red onion instead, all right? Red onion is a great substitute for shallots. Shallot has like a more of a mild onion flavor, but red onion does, does well, all right? And the idea is to have this minced, just like the um, garlic is, all right? So I'm gonna cut this into little small strips. And then I want to cut this into as thin as I possibly can. You see how well this cuts? I want to show you this. It's 
It's amazing. Let me go camera to camera so y'all can see. Look at that. Look at those cuts. TikTok. Look at those cuts, YouTube. Look at those cuts, Facebook fan page. Look at those cuts, Instagram. Wait. There you go. And look at those cuts, my Facebook friends. Okay? So, we're ready to roll. Let me check this steak and see if we need to flip it. Please hold the line. Thank you. Not yet. Almost. Now, here's what we need to work on. Let me put this into a bowl. Okay. And let's talk about this jerk corn on the cob we're about to make. All right, my onion and garlic, I'm gonna put that to the side for just a second. I don't need it yet until my steak is ready. So I have my onion and garlic here, we'll put it to the side. I've been boiling off this corn. The corn does not take long, okay? Because corn you can actually have if it's really beautiful and in season and sweet, you can have corn right now. Now, y'all be asking me, Darius, can this go on top of the stove and in the oven? Yes, I just boiled this on top of the stove, yes. All right, so I'm gonna drain out that sugar and salt water. Okay, corn looks good, but it needs a little love. What do we have? We have butter. Because what does corn love? Corn loves butter. All right. Along with the butter, I'm going to add some of the jerk. All right. So we have that lime juice, that brown sugar, that jerk seasoning, and the butter. That goes on the stove on low. Now, there is no reason why in the summertime you couldn't take this jerk butter mixture, put it in a saucepan, reduce it, get a brush outside on the smoked grill, brush that butter on top of that corn. Amazing. Okay? Thank you. All right, let's check this steak. And what's so great is that this skillet is so good, the handle stays cool to the touch, okay? Okay. This handle stays cool to the touch. Who else can do that? Thank you. Now let's work on our pasta. Okay, can we do that? All right, so I'm gonna take another everyday skillet, all right? And I'm gonna use this other everyday skillet for the pasta. All right, so I'm gonna get it hot. Okay, while our steak is steaking. So if you're just joining, we got a couple things. Oh, that skillet you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. You wanna to go to shopdariuscooks.com. The skillet is already marked down to 50 dollars okay it's already marked down normal price is 109 dollars that everyday skillet is marked down to 50 dollars thank you i don't know who y'all thought i was okay now 
Why don't we pour our beautiful mustard green pesto. Let me taste it. I know it tastes good, but let me just see if it needs salt or something. I don't think it does, but just in case. That is so good, okay? That is so good. All right, I'm gonna pour my pesto right into the skillet, okay? And as you can see, the skillet's already warm, all right? I'm also gonna take my thin pasta that we cooked, and I'm gonna put my pasta right in here. Okay, let me a little more pesto and we'll just heat the pasta and uh, the pesto uh, to get, look at that. Look at what's happening. This needs one thing. I know what you're already thinking. Darius, where's the cream? It's right here. All right, so a little round of heavy cream. This will go on medium heat just so that it heats through, okay? Meanwhile, this steak is ready, okay? So let's pull our steak off. And see, here's the key whenever you make steak. You want your steak to rest, okay? You don't want to cook this steak and then cut right into this a beautiful boneless ribeye steak. So we're going to put it onto a little saucer, seared beautifully, and we'll let it hang out, okay? I'm going to pour out everything except for about a tablespoon of oil, okay? Because now what I want to do is I want to take those little bit of onion and garlic that we use, and I want to throw that right in here, okay? All right, and we'll let that go for a few moments with a little bit of butter, all right? Because what steak do you know that does not taste good with a tablespoon of butter, okay? All right, let's hit that with a little pinch of salt and a little pinch, actually quite a few pinches of black pepper. Quite a few pinches of black pepper. All right, let's check. Let me check this corn on the back burner. Hold on, y'all. Oh yeah, I'm just rolling the corn. So let me show you this. Let me see if I can show you this. I'm just rolling the corn in this beautiful jerk butter that we have. Right, so that way all of the jerk and the brown sugar. And all of that flavor, the lime juice, all of that is like all over this corn. And this is good just like this, but I gotta tell you something. If you were to smoke this on the grill, oh my God, talk about a barbecue of all barbecues, okay? All right, so I've got onion and garlic permeating flavor. Do you see that? Okay, let's fix this up real good. And then we're almost done. All right, here's how we fix this up. Whole grain Dijon mustard. Just a splash, okay? Like that.
Then what we'll do is take heavy cream, a splash. All right. Then we'll mix the heavy cream and the mustard together with a few dashes of Worcestershire. All right. I got a fresh bottle. All right. Just like, you know, a good two or three dashes. Like that much. That's all you need. We'll give that a mix. Like that. And I want you to see how beautiful this finishing sauce is. It was that simple to make, all right? Nothing but garlic and onion, a little bit of Worcestershire, whole grain mustard, and a couple dashes of Worcestershire. That's it. And you have a sauce that is like absolutely outstanding. So I'll kill the heat on this. All right, speaking of killing the heat, remember that pasta with the turnip green, I mean the mustard green pesto with a little bit of um, heavy cream in there, right? This has the pecans, this has the Parmesan cheese, now, if you're going to have pasta, all right, and then don't forget, we got that jerk corn right behind us. Get nice and happy, okay? Now, here is our, let me show you how we plate this, okay? I know you like, okay, Darius, what? What we supposed to do? Okay, so I let my steak rest. Okay, and now I can get in here and I can give my steak, let me cut that little piece off. I give my steak a little bit of a, of a slice and cook it to whatever temperature you like. If you like a medium well, go to medium well. You like a well done, go to well done. Okay. I don't care. This is nothing but ribeye with a little bit of salt. That's it. Mm. 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 Mm, that's so good. Ah. Mm. That's delicious. There's my ribeye steak. Okay. Now y'all hold on one second. Let me go get a plate. Or a salsa. Okay? So you know I'm not eating a whole plate. Full of food. Okay. Here's how we do this. You want to put a little bit of pasta on the bottom. All right. Okay, a little pasta on the bottom. Then, right, hold on, let me fix this up. It's just me, hold on. There we go. Okay, act like you didn't see that. <laughs> My aim was off, okay? Then, I'm gonna put a couple of strips of my medium well ribeye right on top, just like that, okay? And then for me, it's all about this amazing sauce, okay? This amazing finishing sauce. So I'm just gonna throw a little finishing sauce right on top because that's what I like, okay? Then I do have a little bit of parsley, okay? Because you want to make it look pretty. You, if you're going to eat this, you want to make it look like 
something that you would eat. Okay, so let's throw a little pasta, I mean a little parsley, <laughs> right on top. And then let me go grab, I mean this is beautiful by itself, you know what I mean? It's like perfect. But let me get one of these little ears of jerk corn and put that right on the side, okay? And then this with my margarita, the, I done demolished two of them. A whole vibe, okay? Now, if you need to get any of the cast iron, I think I'm out of stock on some stuff. I don't know what, but whatever is out there is out there. I've been running sales all December, okay? I'm a small business. I'm not Target. I'm not Walmart. So at some point, I am going to re-up. Just stay tuned. It takes about a year for that to happen, okay? But you can go to shopdariuscooks.com and grab stuff. And the app is actually out. It is in beta right now. So if you want to just peruse a little bit, you can go to, um, it's, it'll be on Android tomorrow. It's on iOS now. So if you're on iOS, Darius Cooks Plus. There's a space between Darius and Cooks. They're going to change that. But right now, Darius Cooks Plus, Darius Space Cooks Plus on the App Store. You can download the Darius Cooks Plus app. Or you can go to DariusCooksPlus.com. Recipes like this, that's where they are. All right? Now, let me try this pesto. This is that mustard green pesto. Wait, this is too much of a bite. Hold on. Let me, let me go less than that, Darius. You can't eat all that, man. Get you a couple of strings and get somewhere and sit down. Hold on. You can't eat that much. Stop. There you go. Okay, mustard green pesto. You saw me make it. Let me see. Mm, that is something good there, boy. Whoa! Let me tell you something. Now this is how you eat pasta. If you gotta eat pasta, this is my last bite. Mmm. 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 That is, that is outstanding. Let me get a little piece of steak, you know, protein first. Mmm. Let me see. Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. That little cream sauce. On top, mm. Mm. let me see. With my jerk corn, oh, bow your head, say grace, grace. Let me see. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you something. This, I got a half a bite left. Hold on. Done. Done. Can't eat no more. Right now. We'll save this for later. Okay? You got to try it. This Plus this, outstanding. I'm full. I can't eat anymore until later. However, recipes like this, there's only one place to find them, and that is the Darius Cooks Plus app. You can download it right now on iOS, and then tomorrow you'll be able to get it at the Google Play Store. Okay? Now, there's two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life, it is my food. Until next time, 
I gotta wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. Lovely, so good and delicious and tasty. And TikTok, y'all wasn't that much of a problem tonight. You know how y'all be.